Minden nap hajnaltól éjszakáig a házat kellett takarítanom. Alig kaptam enni és inni. Végül az utcán összeestem, és mentővel vittek a kórházba. Jó, Mika, én nem tudom, hogy az hospital, mert a mehefe, nem tudom, hogy az hospital, mert a mehefe, nem tudom, hogy az hospital. Csak ham pálú ki bengali mi szótéti, orne háni ki jagani hiti. Ham szab doktor ki pász csalengi, kiuki ham logo komász, pedáni nikala jéti. أنا كخدم من استديا الصباح حتى استديا العشية بحكم عرش في نزات السكونة ديالي حتى الباسبور ديالي ما عنديش Severe labor exploitation is a sad reality in the European Union. To find out more about the situation, Fra carried out in-depth research into criminal forms of labor exploitation in the EU. Our research shows that foreign workers are especially likely to accept work under exploitative conditions. Exploitation is particularly frequent in sectors such as agriculture, construction, the hotel and catering industry, domestic work and manufacturing. Fra interviewed over 600 professionals in 21 EU member states, collected some 200 case studies and conducted more than 20 focus group discussions with experts. We talked to a wide range of expert groups, from labour inspectorates, police, judges and prosecutors, through victim support organisations to trade unions, employers' organisations and national policy experts. This allowed us to identify numerous measures that could be taken to improve the situation. In the view of the experts, the most important measures were more effective monitoring, better cooperation between labour inspectorates, the police and victim support services, enhanced measures to raise rights awareness among workers, and improved legislation against labour exploitation, as well as more effective implementation. Severely exploitative working conditions are a violation of fundamental rights. In addition, allowing the severe labour exploitation of some workers has a negative knock-on effect on the labour standards of all workers in all industries. EU member states must therefore promote a climate of zero tolerance. The report is available on our website at fra.europa.eu.